Welcome to the Growth Mindset Company channel, where we dive into the principles that drive successful project management and conflict resolution. Today, we explore a crucial component of contract management, the Dispute Adjudication Board, or DAB. Have you ever faced a challenging dispute during a project that seemed impossible to resolve? Imagine if there were a way to settle these disputes efficiently, fairly, and without escalating tensions. That's where the Dispute Adjudication Board comes in. In this video, we'll uncover the secrets behind Clause 20.2 of the DAB Constitution. You'll learn how the DAB is appointed, what makes someone suitably qualified, and why their decisions are binding. We'll delve into the importance of mutual trust and impartiality, and explore how different contract sizes and complexities determine the DAB's composition. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how the DABA operates and why it's a cornerstone of successful project management. Whether you're an industry veteran or new to the field, this insight will equip you with the knowledge to navigate disputes with confidence and maintain positive working relationships. So let's get started on this journey to mastering the art of dispute resolution with the Dispute Adjudication Board. Join us as we break down complex concepts into actionable insights that will transform the way you approach project management. What is a Dispute Adjudication Board, DAB? A Dispute Adjudication Board, or DAB, is a panel established to resolve disputes that arise during the execution of a contract. But how is this board appointed, and who gets to be on it? Joint Appointment of the DAB 1. Joint Appointment Clause 20.2 mandates that the DAB should be jointly appointed by the parties involved in the contract. The appointment must be completed by a specific date, which is generally set to be 28 days after the project starts, known as the commencement date. Why is this timing so crucial? It ensures the DAB is in place early to address any disputes that might arise promptly. 2. Composition The DAB can consist of one or three suitably qualified persons. This raises the question, what makes someone suitably qualified? We'll explore this shortly. Challenges in DAB appointment. Several challenges can arise during the DAB appointment process. One, mutual agreement. Achieving consensus on DAB members can be tough. Two, ensuring independence and impartiality. Ensuring nominated members are free from biases. Three, timing. Delays can occur, especially if the DAB is not established early. How can these challenges be overcome? Open communication and a clear understanding of the criteria for DAB members are essential. Binding decisions by the DAB. 1. According to the FIDIC conditions of contract, the DAB's decisions are binding on both parties unless they agree to change it through an amicable settlement or arbitration. This means that both parties must comply with the DAB's decisions promptly. But why is this binding nature important? 2. Because the DAB's decisions are so impactful, it's crucial to select members who are trusted and respected by both parties. This trust helps prevent the need for arbitration and ensures smooth project progress. How are members nominated for a three-person DAB? 1. Party nominations. Each party nominates one member, who must then be approved by the other party. Approvals cannot be unreasonably withheld or delayed. Have you ever considered why mutual approval is necessary in this process? 2. Independence and impartiality. The nominated members should be independent experts who can act impartially and work well within the DAB to make unanimous decisions. If a nominee seems unlikely to strive for unanimity, approval may be withheld. Why might impartiality and the ability to collaborate be so critical for the DAB's success? 3. Chairman selection. Once two members are chosen, they consult and agree on a third member to act as the chairman. This can sometimes be challenging, so members might agree on a chairman among themselves before proposing that person to the parties for approval. What makes the chairman's role so pivotal? What about a single-person DAB or chairman selection? 1. Mutual agreement. For a single-person DAB or the chairman of a three-person DA, mutual agreement is required. Typically, the employer provides a list of suitable candidates from which the tenderer can choose. How might selecting from a pre-contacted list impact the process? 2. Pre-contacted candidates. Selecting candidates who have already been contacted by one party can be difficult. Why do you think this is a common challenge? Role of the chairman. The chairman of the DAB has a pivotal role. They must 
facilitate discussions, ensuring all viewpoints are considered, maintain impartiality, acting without bias, lead the board, guiding towards unanimous or majority decisions. In more complex projects, especially those with a five-person panel, the chairman selects the most suitable members to address specific disputes. Why is this role so crucial? It helps in maintaining the board's effectiveness and impartiality. How to decide on DAB size and composition. One, contract size and complexity. For smaller contracts, typically valued at $20 or less in the US, or below $2 in some states like Florida, a one-person DAB is often sufficient. In the European community, three-person DABs are standard. Mega projects, or those with significant technical complexity, may require a five-person panel. What factors do you think influence the decision on DAB size? Two, subcontractor layers. Projects with multiple subcontractor layers might benefit from a common DAB or an interlocking DAB member who participates in several boards within the project. How could this setup improve dispute resolution? 3. Multi-layer DAB For projects with numerous layers, such as consultant agreements, supplier agreements, and subcontract agreements, a multi-layer DAB might be beneficial despite procedural and administrative challenges. What advantages do you think a multi-layer DAB offers? What makes someone suitably qualified? Suitably qualified persons are those with the necessary expertise, experience, and impartiality to serve on the DAB. They should have technical and legal knowledge relevant to the contract and dispute resolution processes. Their qualifications should inspire confidence in both parties to ensure the DIB's effectiveness and the likelihood of achieving amicable resolutions without resorting to arbitration. How do you find such individuals? Typically, they are seasoned professionals with a proven track record in similar projects. Why is it so vital to have suitably qualified individuals on the DAB? By understanding these elements, we can see how the DAB plays a crucial role in resolving disputes efficiently and fairly, ensuring that projects stay on track and relationships between parties remain positive. Have you seen these principles in action in your own projects or work? How did it impact the outcome? Advantages and disadvantages of DAB systems. Advantages 1. Efficiency, faster resolution compared to litigation or arbitration. 2. Cost effectiveness, reduces legal costs associated with prolonged disputes. 3. Expertise, members bring specialized knowledge. 4. Binding decisions, ensures compliance unless formally challenged. Disadvantages 1. Selection challenges, difficulty in mutually agreeing on members. 2. Bias concerns, ensuring impartiality can be tricky. 3. Administrative burden. Managing multi-layer DABs is complex. Why are these points significant? Understanding both the benefits and drawbacks helps in making informed decisions about employing a DAB. As we wrap up this deep dive into the Dispute Adjudication Board and its vital role in project management, let's take a moment to reflect on the power of effective dispute resolution. By understanding and implementing the principles we've discussed, you can transform potential conflicts into opportunities for collaboration and growth. The DAB isn't just about resolving disputes, it's about fostering an environment where trust, mutual respect, and impartiality thrive. By carefully selecting qualified, impartial experts, you empower your projects with a robust mechanism that ensures fairness and efficiency. Remember, the success of any project hinges not only on planning and execution, but also on how well we navigate and resolve conflicts. The insights we've shared today can serve as your blueprint for maintaining harmony and driving your projects to successful completion. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe to the Growth Mindset Company channel for more insights and strategies to elevate your project management skills. Keep striving for excellence, and let's continue to grow together. Until next time, stay inspired and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.